Welcome back. Uh, there's a new gadget in the game room, and I'm just going to show you what it is. It's a scalar line doubler, which I'm using with the SLG3000 scanline generator. Now, most of you watching this, or at least some of you watching this, will recognise this gear as it's been in Fagin RS500's videos. Um, this is about £50 from eBay, and it's got quite a few inputs. Uh, it's got a CGA there and component uh, video input. It's also got one of these RGBS inputs. And this is the clever bit, it has got an RGB SCART input. Um, Fagin RS500 did me a massive favour and helped me build this. Um, there are two uh, VGA outputs which can output in high definition as well as uh, 640 by 480 and you can see I've got connected there to the SLG3000 scanline generator. Um, the unit works at a number of resolutions uh, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, it's got a 5 volt DC uh, power supply connection and uh, you'll see in a minute that it uh, takes the sound and outputs what comes through the SCART lead outputs it out of there in stereo because obviously in a VGA cable doesn't carry any audio. So um, what does it do? Well, um, when you flick the menu on, you can switch between the inputs. You can change the size and position of the screen, change the color settings, the resolution, and the language. Now, I've got some settings written on the back here, which are for specifically for my Saturn. Um, this is my little logo for it. Uh, it's a little nod to Fagan RS 500's YouTube ID. So let's have a look at the image quality. First off, this is RGB SCART. This is a standard SCART signal going into my LCD television uh, with the LCD TV scaling it all. You can probably tell it looks a bit grainy. Um, the, the lines are a bit blurred. Um, from a distance it looks okay, but you know, um, lettering isn't good. There's all sorts of ghosting and whatnot. The next image is using the scaler producing 640x480 complete with alternate scan lines courtesy of the SLG. Um, you can immediately see it cleans the image up a hell of a lot. Um, the scan lines give the image a nice sharp look and uh, gives it quite a nice retro look as well. Um, in, in the flesh, so to speak, this is really impressive. It does look an awful lot better. But that's not all the scaler can do. It can actually upscale it to HD. Uh, this is 1024 by 768 uh, without scan lines, although the SLG is running through it. Um, the picture is absolutely amazing. I was completely blown away uh, when I fired it up on high res mode. Everything about the image is absolutely top notch. Um, it's a gorgeous image and for the purposes of filming off the screen, since you can't see the scan lines anyway, I thought I would um, use this for my videos from now on. It's a gorgeous image. Right, here's some comparisons um, with the SCART on the left and the uh, scan line on the right and now with the high definition on the right. So hopefully there you can see what difference this scaler makes. You, you probably know that I'm not um, the world's most technical person and I'm probably not a good person to ask questions about how to modify this unit or what other scalers are available. Uh, Fagin is really the, the godfather of the scan line in that respect. So um, maybe he'll be able to advise, but it, it's quite a lengthy process. Um, Ultimately, the irony of this is that if you want to have crisp looking uh, retro game images, you're better off playing them on a CRT. And actually, you'll find a decent CRT uh, much more cheaply than all of these scaling devices. Um, just go look in a dump or something or pick one up off the internet cheap. Um, they Overall, they are much better than having a complicated C uh, setup with your LCD. Having said that, you know, if you want to play on your normal telly, this is a good solution um, and good luck if you decide to go down that route. Thanks for watching. Oh yes, and before I go, yes, I did in fact uh, make that case for the line doubler. I used uh, the lid of a Maplin's project box, um, copious amounts of um, sort of Velcro tape, um, some good old fashioned um, black insulating tape, um, a little bit of blue tack and uh, and super glue and a bit of imagination. Um, it's a fucking pile of shit and you know it. It's a load of rubbish, but at least it works. <laughs> Thanks for watching.